quite a beautiful place. St. Luke's Cathedral welcomes all devotees. You can pray for the goddess's grace in front of the statue, reducing darkness. Or you can trade your prestige for the teachings of wise men and solve academic problems. Hey, Hackett. Is this your first time at the altar? The people here are quiet, but it seems like they're all good people. Let's chat. Speaking of which, I lived at the altar for a while when I was a child, so I'm pretty familiar with it. Have you eaten the pastries made by the nuns? It's a skill handed down from their ancestors. It's said that only the pies can eat them. Huh? You've tried them? Shh. It's a secret. Don't tell anyone. I, Hackett, will not pass up any kind of good food. I was punished by the nuns later, which was pretty embarrassing. Hello, sister. Hello, I'm Connie. I'm a nun here. If you need any help, you can always come to me. If this is your first time here, you should visit the Central Church. Hey, Lon. It seems that I haven't formally introduced myself yet. I'm Lon Hill. Nice to meet you. I came to the altar when I was a child, but it was a little different back then. This place was renovated a few years ago. They added some new murals and sculptures. I heard the public purse paid for these things. But it's true that the number of followers of the Volcano Goddess has increased in recent years, so perhaps people are, ready, are happy to see the money spent on these places. Hey, Nina. It's the first time I've seen you at the church. Let's chat. You haven't been to this side of the altar before, right? I work part-time at the altar as a cleric, so come see me when you want to talk to someone. Practicing divination can be boring sometimes. Wow, you can do divination? That's awesome! I'm not that good yet. I'm still learning from the archbishop. Oh, speaking of which, you can go to the archbishop for guidance in your studies as long as you have prestige to spend. He's always happy to help those who ask. Where's my prestige stat? I guess I could have 218 prestige. Mm. I'm Bishop Clare. You may ask me anything on your mind. Shine mm. on the world with the prophetic nature of the goddess. Hey, Hackett, um... I know things are a bit awkward with that, like, outing. So I, I figured I'd smooth things over with these th these nice cookies. <laughs> oh, thanks, I love this so much. So, St. Luke's Cathedral, we can pray. I don't think we need a low darkness, we're, we're fine. So, let's take a look at the course gardens. So, like, could he help us get... Interesting. Okay. Can you help me... with... Etiquette for greeting. No. Okay, hold on. I'd like to learn etiquette for greetings. Consume 100 prestige for every one advancement. Now, is this the only thing prestige does? Because if so, then I don't see a reason not to spend it. Let's do it. Thank you, Bishop. Hmm, I don't understand what that Bishop's chanting. It's too profound. Hey, Nina. Well, actually, hold on. Let's... Let us go... Alright, I want to go to the Central Plaza. Oh, double salary at the Dusk Caldo Baths. First, let's talk to Mary. <sighs> I want to buy new jewelry again. How do you know I like Emerald Jewelry? This color's my favorite. Oh, hey, Z. Hi. Hello, I'm Z. Are you looking at me? Oh, no, I'm just passing by. I don't like being stared at all the time. 
But it's up to you whether you want to look or not. Doesn't this make people want to look at him even more? He's a bad boy. Hard to get. I'm not very good at leather crafting, so the exterior of the sword will be difficult. It's really cumbersome to hold a sword all the time. It's best to tie it to your back. Alright. Uh, hello, alchemist. Ha! Huh, it seems like you already know about the great degeneration stuff, right? It's an interesting doctrine, although I also helped in his code for a while, but I didn't know about it. Hey, Rebecca. What's up? People love to watch plays, but don't want to go to stores. Uh, you should do some more advertising. The theater next door is so busy. I want to go to the theater, too. Right, Mary! Ooh! Your mind is good enough to work as a checker! And I don't see why not. It's more money. Yeah. Wow, today's so difficult. You should be a piece of cake. Very nice. Okay, and that gives us enough money to go and buy an evasive scarf. There we go. And that means... Alright, so now what I want to do is we're going to go around and just kind of collect our resting sort of stuff. Tree stumps, hello. Aha, uh -huh, you're taking a nap here. I caught you. Oh, hey, Mana, how are you doing? Let me harvest my crops. Are you farming? You harvested a lot. That's a nice little touch in the, that this game has. With the, like, other people. Like, kind of commenting on your actions as you do them, if they're in the area. Let's make some more bread. Okay. Hey, Mom. The fish in the lake are delicious, but they have too many spines. Let's chat. Do you think about cooking when you look at the fish in the lake? They definitely look like they'd make a good lunch. But when I come to the lake, I mainly just enjoy the views. I feel happy watching the fish swim freely. Me too, but the sweet and sour fish you make is super delicious. It's definitely one of my favorites of yours. I'd like to, uh, to consult with you. I'm actually good at using swords. Come here, hold the sword with both hands. I'll teach you how to hold it properly. I wonder, do you think I could win a challenge against Mana? A duel, perhaps? Ah, do you want to compete? Let me prepare. Uh, she's gonna floor... Oh my gosh, she really is good at swords. I won. Why don't I treat you to a meal at the restaurant some other day? Ouch. Hey, you went to the birdie festival last month too, didn't you? We've been talking about that flyer in the barracks lately. What with the great degradation and all. <laughs> Have fun at the birdie festival. We already went to the birdie festival, Bessaloo. <laughs> birdie festival's always popular with the chicka kids. I don't have children myself, but I still like to go and watch them play. <laughs> okay, um, we'll go to the restaurants now. Gotta buy some staple foods. <sighs> what a meal. Maybe a little bit too much. We don't need snacks. Hey, civilian woman. On birdie day, I saw my husband handing out flyers in the square with great degradation printed on them. I don't know how to read, so I let others read it to me. It was too scary. I had to think about what he must be studying. Yo, Derek. You always hope that they can leave something behind. Don't be too obsessed with the happiness, especially if you don't have the ability to chief yet. Hey, politicians. It's probably a mistake, but I'll talk to you. You've also heard about the new Great Degeneration that came out of the opening ceremony of St. Elmo's College, right? Shh, keep your voice down. This is still confidential. Why? What are you afraid of? People who have never heard of it don't know what we're talking about. The theory itself is crazy enough. Scientists are crazy. We should be thinking about how to use it to get our to get votes in the future. Okay. To the harbor. Got to talk to everyone because, you know, talking is reaction. Every good soldier dares to take risks. I thought you were over at the river. <laughs> Meldus, brother, is a brave and skilled knight. I will definitely be as good as him. Hope so, Mark. 
The reason I'm drifting around peacefully is because I know there's always someone waiting for me at home. Most of the time, the ship is not near the port. It's always day to dark. When I stand by the sea, my head goes completely empty. I don't want to think about anything. Hmm, it seems that being in a trance can still be meaningful. It can relax people's tense spirits for a short period of time. Although they're awake, they still feel rested. So you're resting while being entranced by the sea? A small break from the trivial worries in life. Hey Benson, I'd like some advice. Although everyone has different sensitivities to the world, with attentive feelings, people can gain profound experiences from the flow of their emotions. Alright, now to the Forgotten Valley. Hello, scholar. You saw that great degradation fire, right? Seems it was sent by a Volcano Gate cultists. The king is now ordering the capture of those people, but they're hiding in the Forgotten Forest. Seems they've prepared for it. We should be careful not to encounter them when we enter the forest. They seem a little crazy. Hey, Craig. I'm Craig. Hello. I'm not interested in monsters. Or it is quiet here. How did you find this place? I used to come here all the time with Lon. He likes to study monsters and I come here to nap. Who the heck is Kenneth? Hello. I am Ken. I can smell something. Smells like birds. Uh, ah, what, what do birds smell like? Blue. Blue feathers. Beautiful. Oh, you mean my clothes? Uh, thank you, your highness. Okay. Now we'll go back to Wild Horse Lake is where she was at. No, it's not. It's the altar, right. Nina! Let's go on an adventure. Huh? Inviting me on an adventure? I did practice my archery. Hope it'll come in handy. Now, to the valley. Off we go. To Oasis Forest with Nina. We're both level one, but hopefully it'll be fine. I have an evasive scarf. I've got an oak bow, an iron sword. Let's go. Alright. Okay, so now I've got two characters to worry about. Okay. Um. I think it makes sense. Magic weapons increase damage by 20%. Weapons other than bows deal only deal 50% damage. So it probably makes sense to start with a volley of arrows. How much is this? Oh, you can... Man, Nina's amazing! Okay, here. How would you kill this one that we know is damaging us? Boom. Oh, we all share action points, though. Ah, I see. We might as well do this. Ooh, okay, that's spicy. Alright, I can curve shot. And I guess we'll put up some defense. And we all share defense, it would seem. Alright, then let's finish with another... Uh, well... With a, yeah, curve shot. There we go. Great! Alright, 10 gold, red forging stone. Let's take it. What's the skip bonus? Let's try the skip bonus. What does that mean? Did, did we get a bonus for skipping? Okay, uh, let's go for the one that has less enemies on it. The Golden Road. You have entered a holy land, and before you are three doors. Which one shall you open? The Gate of Victory or the Gate of Life? I don't think we need more health right now, so we'll go for the Gate of Victory. I see. Should have seen that one coming. Alright, let's start with this one. Good job, Nina. Uh, I might as well slash with the sword. Might help on the margins. And honestly, because we're killing with Nina next turn anyway, we might as well just put up max defense and just huddle down right now. Okay. Very nice. Take all. Okay. 
Guess we got another battle. So these are both vampire bats. I mean, yeah. This seems sensible to me. I wish Nina had more weapons to use. I think, again, the just hunkering down and waiting for Nina makes the most sense. Oh, combat skills. New combat skills will be available when combat level reaches 2, 5, 10, and 15. Villagers will gain new combat skills when they are invited to become adventure partners, and their combat levels reaches level 1 and level 4 in battle. This body is even more amazing than I thought. Alright, Maga's leveled up to level 2. Nice. Goddess's blessing? My hands gradually began to fill with strength. New skill healing, okay. Let's advance. I've got some combats. Alright. Healing. Person with the lowest HP in the party regains 32 HP. Right, let's go for some cross arrows. Goodbye, vampire bats. And you know what? We will actually... Raid. Deal sweaty points of damage to all enemies. Interesting. I think it might actually make some... Well... I think it makes some out of sense to curve shot with magma and have do some healing with Nina. Yeah. And now Nina can finish off with the cross arrow. Nice. Okay, uh, let's go for the blue road. That was like a good old event. Full moon! The sky that was clear only moments ago is suddenly full of grey clouds, and the air is much cooler. As the sky grows darker, a bright full moon rises. You can hear the howling of wolves in the distance. Let's make a wish to the full moon. You stand under its pure light and feel at one with nature. Emotion plus. All right, so looks like we got, I assume like a boss fight. Oh, a thief. It's gonna attack Nina for 19. We can take that. What's your thing? Magic weakness. Okay, we don't have magic anyway, so. I think we gotta go for the arrows here and might as well raid. Okay, now you're going for magma. I'd like to get my defense up this time. So I think we might just do a curve shot and a bit of defense here. Oh, did you miss? You missed. Okay. Get another... Well... Yeah, let's get a cross arrow. Might as well raid. Okay. Now, I think we'll do healing on, on self, I guess, combined with a curve shot. Oh, small money bag, some gold, marigold lights. Nice. Let us advance. New combat. All right, are these slime, slime, slime? Okay. So these have magic weakness, but that's about it. Okay, these guys are starting to get fairly healthy. We got. Ma right, so Magma's potentially getting 28 damage this turn. Nina's getting 14. Obviously, we gotta take him out just like as quickly as possible. But also, obviously, we uh... and we gotta get in some decent damage. Uh, which one has the lowest? This has the lowest health. And right, how much is can we deal damage with the cross arrow right now? Not as much as I'd like. So we'll do curve shots on this one. And then I think we just defend. Yeah. Oof. Okay. Eight attack on magma, 19 on Nina, 14 on magma. I think we gotta start with some healing. Okay. And from here, we gotta, I guess, raid is all we got. We'll go for the one that's already damaged. We'll put some defense up. Okay, good dodge, good dodge. All right. Ugh. All right, we need to kill this one this turn or magmatize. Okay. I think this is going to Nina. 
And we should be fine for this turn then. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're healing, you're, you're healing for 30. I'm not sure if that's going to your, specifically yourself or like your friend. So we'll go for your friend in case it's yourself, I guess. And well, Nina can do a self heal. Okay. Uh, I think. You're attacking Magra for 19. I think just maximum damage is the play here. I guess might as well do a raid. Okay, Nina and Magma. That's fine. Uh, we could probably. Let's do healing. And a curve shot. Cross arrow makes sense. With a raid, sure, why not? Alright, let's heal. And curve shot. Let's... Does cross arrow finish it? It does. Get stronger together. One day I'll be able to become an adult on my own, right? Nice. Let's take the golden road. The fountain appears in front of you. The pillars are intricately, ha intricately handcrafted by famous craftsmen. The water is so murky that you can't see what's inside. Put your hand inside. Curiosity got the better of you. You reached to the bottom of the pool and obtained one purple crystal. All right, moving on. What the, a green deer. Enhance. Okay. And bow should be great against this sort of game, right? Fourteen on magma. Unconcerned. I think we'll do curve shot plus healing. You missed anyway. Okay. Cross arrow. Oh, was that a crit? Nice. Moving on. Oh, that's the boss. Okay. All right, we got a black bear and a black bear. We should probably go for the black. Okay, we can't seemingly kill the black. Well, maybe we could. Let's go for this. Plus, oh, a crit. Nice. Okay. I mean, let's just go for it. This. Uh, we'll defend, I guess. You missed. You missed, you fool. Yeah, let's just go for the kill. Okay, so presumably going left would be to, like, heal up for, before the boss, but we're doing pretty well on health and stuff, so I think we take the blue road and just get some extra treasure. Let's open it. No, oh, drew a crit scroll. Nice. All right. Uh, hello. 899? Okay, just right off the bat, you're doing 29 damage to magma? Ah! Okay. I, we might as well raid, because it's a free action. And I think... Let's double defense it, honestly. Okay. Now you're, enha you're enhancing this turn. I want to heal. So I think we'll do healing plus a curve shot. Slow and steady wins the race. 34 to Nina. Nina can take it, so I think... I think we'll take the opportunity to cross arrow this time. Because we got to get the damage out there. 34 is a ton, though. How much does this heal? Regains 32 HP. Okay, so... I think it's fine, then. It's fine. Because one healing will get her right back to where she wants to be. And she can heal next turn. So, cross arrow. Damage dealt by attack is reduced to 75% for three rounds. 
Oh, you're weak. D did one of our moves inflict that? Oh, oh cross arrow gets grants three weakness. Lovely. Magus being attacked for 36. Okay, so we need to defend this. Um, question is how exactly we're gonna go about this. If we reduce it by 25%, that should be enough for her to live. Barely. Yeah. And that'll okay, so we'll this will be just kind of a heal and defend round. So we'll defend, we'll heal, and yeah. Did you miss? You missed! Ha-ha! Okay, 36 on Nina. Again, not ideal, but I think a cross arrow, since it applies weakness, is actually probably one of our best bets. And this is how much damage you deal when you're weak? I hate to see you when you're strong. All right, it's fine. We can heal. And we'll do that with a curve shot. All right, 33 on magma. We have to defend this round. Uh, I think we, we go pure defense. We go cut it by 50% and do a raid. Just because that's how... Oh, okay. Okay, that's a lot of damage on Nina. Are you getting more strength over time? Power is increased by ten during the. Okay, so we need a. We need to kill this person quickly. Die, please. Was that a crit? Awesome. Okay, you missed. Thank goodness. Um. Twenty-nine on Nina. Yeah, I'm thinking tactically here, right? There, because we're doing all the healing and stuff anyway, I don't think there's actually a tactical difference between Nina taking 29 damage and Nina taking, like, you know, 20 damage or whatever. So I think, actually, the smart play is probably not to attack. With... I think the smart play is you, you do your curve shot... And they just save the energy for a future turn. Okay. Because we're healing this turn anyway. There's no point in doing a slash with a single target when we can raid instead. And again, you're not even attacking this turn, so we just save the points. 33 to Magma. Okay, this we do have to block. At least somewhat. Uh... One block will do it, though. I think we do our cross arrow. We gotta keep you weak, permanently. And we can still get a curve shot off. Okay. Have to heal. Dealing 44 to Nina. Ouch. Alright, we gotta raid. Is this worth blocking? I don't think so. I think we, we need to just... Because, again, I don't think it's meaningfully different. And you dodged anyway. Thank goodness. Okay. Uh, we're definitely going to cross arrow then. And I think... Again, there isn't a meaningful difference between getting hit for the 44 and reducing it by 25%. So we're just going to curve shot. Because we're on a timer here. Because you're getting... I think you're getting stronger every turn. Or at least every time you attack. Oh, every time you enhance. That, that makes sense. Okay. Um, No real point in healing this turn. So... And I don't want to waste... So we'll just do a raid and save the points, I guess. Forty-one on magma. Okay. If we reduce this by 25%, that gets us down to... Either 30 or 31, so we gotta reduce that by 50% to guarantee we don't die. Luckily, we've got extra points. So we'll just start with that, because we gotta do that. And then we combine that with a cross arrow. 
That's our most effective attack. Ouch. Okay. 48 on magma. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, boy. I think if that hits, we're dead. And if we heal, that gets Mago up to 30. And then we could defend, but 25% of 48 is only, what, 12? I think. So that would bring us down to 36 damage, which is still lethal. In that case, I think we do still heal, because it's useful to heal. But given that, it doesn't make a difference whether or not we... Like, we're still dead if we defend. So I think we just go for the attack. And hope for a miss. Ah! We were so close! I'm happy to be able to explore with magma. Ah, so close. Next time. Next time. Let's go home. Can I give her pocket money? Mm -hmm. I have a secret money box. This location is secret, of course. Okay. Let us... I guess we'll play a role-playing game. Mm -hmm. I'm now Papa's daughter, and Papa is his daughter's Papa. Alright, uh... Might as well get tactics for multiple troops. That's just an easy get. Let's get to know the Volcano Goddess a bit more. I would love to get some more. Charisma. Seems to be really lack oh drat. Seems to be lacking on charisma. Let's hang out with Hackett. Uh Adequate for greetings. Makes sense, I think. Oh, completed readings, tactics for multiple troops. <laughs> I think there are a lot of secrets in this book. Magma is very involved in today's study. Completed more than expected. Magma and Hackett were playing a fish barbecue by the Wild Horse Lake today. Hackett put the barbecued fish onto a piece of bread, using it as a plate, and started eating. He seems very hungry. Mm. No matter the time of day, rowing calms me down. Even just drifting around the lake gives me a feeling of steady progress. Mm. I feel that you're the kind of person who can stay in one place forever. I would go somewhere new every day. Mm. I thought about it when I was younger, but I feel that a repetitive routine is perfect for me. Have you forgotten how to hold the paddle again? Place one hand on the handle and hold the other in the middle. Ah, <laughs> my hand keeps slipping. It makes me feel a little weak. Pay attention to the angle of the paddle, otherwise the resistance will fight back against you. Mm. Oh, I see. Professor Gino led an extra drama class today. He says he's attempting to let students experience what it's like to be uncivilized. So what animal will you be? Imitate a duck or an elephant? I think Magma would imitate a duck. Magma imitated how a duck might waddle, making everyone laugh in the process. Magma couldn't help but think the nobles have many complicated rules. Mm. Completed etiquette for readings. The more the better. Okay. Magma seems to have mastered the knack to the moves. Smoothly completed the moves. Oh. Father, I have brought the other two lords with me. Mm. Greetings to his majesty the king. 
Good day, Her Majesty the King. The main reason for summoning you all here today is to prepare for the Volcano Festival in three months' time. The Volcano Festival has not been held for several years, so I'm sure you are all aware of its importance to our country. The theory of Great Gen Generation, which has re recently taken the nation by storm, has been explained to me in great detail by Claude Bry. The contribution of scholars to academic research cannot be ignored, but a hypothesis with such a horrific undertone is extremely detrimental to the political image of our country. Especially so close to the Volcano Festival, if competitors from neighboring countries who come to participate in the com competition are allowed to obtain this research, the consequences will be unthinkable. Therefore, you must keep a close watch on the departments that hold key information so that nothing gets out, especially the research team at St. Elmer's College. Of course, Your Majesty. But while everyone is here, I would like, also like to show you the latest academic discoveries this month. Oh, is that the Heathcote fossil that was just dug up? The guys came back yesterday and started yelling. I'd like to see what's so special about it. If it's just a normal fossil, we've seen quite a few of them in the previous months. They don't reveal any new information except for a difference in species and age. This is no ordinary fossil, to be precise. It's a tombstone. It's still too early to draw any conclusions. Wow, what a big stone. A beautiful color indeed. Have you seen any similar stones in the forest? No, this is the first time I've seen one like this. How interesting. I even feel a sense of familiarity from it. What do you mean by that? Uh, it's just a physical sensation. Fantasia myself. Anyway, I'll send more men to investigate this matter. Come to assist me, Lord Brian. With all due respect. Ah, <laughs> don't forget me if there's a fight. Don't worry, I'll never forget you. One day I'll master it.